to know that we may be moving or closing is very disheartening. A month inside the Baltimore City public school system is all it took for Regina James Banks to pull her four kids out of public schools and place them into a city charter. Overcrowded classrooms, um, teachers that are just overwhelmed. It's just too chaotic in the regular Baltimore City traditional setting for me and my family. Here at the Baltimore Collegiate School for Boys, she says her sons are thriving. They take time with the guys here and get to know them and push them forward for the future. But soon this charter may no longer be an option for her children. It's very upsetting. It's just very disappointing. I would hope that we could partner better. The school CEO, Edwin Avent, says an annual review found the charter was suffering in several categories. I would classify them as technicalities. Technicalities, he says, involve things like missing paperwork or simple data entry errors. They were procedural, operational things that we believe can be and have been addressed. However, in the report found on the district's website, the city finding the charter's teaching practices and staffing also falling short. The report reading in part, quote, the operator of Baltimore Collegiate School for Boys has had serious ongoing operational difficulties over the course of the contract, which have affected the safety or well-being of students, staff, or the district. Still, Avon argues the challenges facing his charter are far less concerning than the challenges seen in public schools citywide. I don't think that they rise to the level of closing a school because certainly if we were a district school and it were the same issues, you wouldn't be closing a district school. And according to Avent, the charter's current graduation rate is around 95 percent and their college enrollment rate is well over 50 percent, much higher than what's seen in city public schools where only 69 percent of students graduate and 47 percent go to college. We don't um, blame the city. But what we ask for is grace because I do believe that their schools are going through some of the similar challenges that we're going through. I have four boys and everybody's gone here and this will be a really miss from our family if we was to close.